definitely I am right now under the impression that there is something a lot more significant than I thought um, and more than anything the uh, importance is that we finally got somewhere we finally get somewhere to where actually um, the significance of the RH negative blood group frequencies among patients and those infected is being highlighted and the abstract I've posted part of it before but there's also the ending part that I missed and it says finally we show that blood types effects are not explained by other risk factors age, sex, race, ethnicity, hypertension, diabetes, mellitus, obesity and cardiovascular cardiovascular and respiratory diseases good to our knowledge this is the first report of an independent RHD association with COVID-19 you see this is what I have been missing because um, when you're looking at other studies uh, even HIV and uh, Ebola and um, several you know there are many studies out there um, where the RH blood group frequencies, uh, the, the frequencies based on blood groups, RH from the RH blood group system are very significant, but they are somehow overlooked. And either the author cannot find a possible explanation, so he doesn't talk about it, or it's just um, ignored because of the low percentage of Irish negative people in the world so it's more popular actually to have a uh, blood type O or A highlighted in a study because people will say oh my god that's my blood group what's happening you know so it's <clears throat> um, trust me I know because you uh, as an uh, when you have a channel about Irish negative people yes you have of course, viewers that are RH negative and they are coming, but try hitting the mainstream with this. The only way you can do that is if you talk about aliens or reptilians or some nonsense to get some kind of uh, attention. So it's very, very good that uh, I applaud these guys for doing what they are doing. And I'm going to update now my blog post because that's what I have to do. That is actually the most important part between RH blood groups, infection and death. Okay, so there we go. Paragraph. I should do this every time I make a blog post and I make sure it's actually sound and significant and all of that stuff. Um, finally, we show that blood types affects this. Um, this will lead us somewhere this will lead us um, like I said uh, I want to also highlight one more time that um, you cannot assume immunity you cannot even assume anything uh, you cannot change behavior you see that's what I have been talking about when it comes to HIV for many many years when people told me oh my god I think uh, I just read something that RH negatives are immune to HIV and then suddenly somebody said no no it's only O negatives and I'm like I'm looking at the study there are O negative patients so um, be a little more careful with your you know with your assumptions and that's apparently a big danger in society you know I noticed that when you know there were no AB negative COVID cases you know people immediately say you see there's it seems like there are two types of people in society and unfortunately you know it's not like what I used to say that RH negative people are you know the intuition will warn us and guide us 
But the, no, man. It, it seems that the moment somebody hears uh, something positive about their own blood type, they go crazy and say, look, we are immune, we are AB negative, we are immune. What kind of nonsense, man? I, I, I can't believe what I have been reading recently. So I understand that a lot of these scientists, when they publish something, they are very, very careful because the last thing you want to do is be premature on anything and wind up being the one responsible for something. So these people took a big step actually t taking some kind of responsibility with their statement, even though that doesn't mean you are immune. It means only that there is a protective function. Now, having said that, I warn, you know, I, 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 I put you guys all on alert. There's more to come and wait for that. And don't waste your time talking about aliens and reptilians and all this nonsense. You know, look for new studies, look for, uh, you know, share them, show people what you have. Don't just um, consume and then get sidetracked into some group about who knows what kind of nonsense. Don't be so easily seduced. And don't think just because you're born with intuition, you are an intuitively acting person. Because if you're not, if you don't, cherish your own intuition there's a problem a big problem that means you're just gonna be uh, going by your brain which has been impacted by whatever society put in there whatever the media puts in there whatever other people put in there and then all of a sudden you switch and say oh my gosh i'm immune i'm special i'm arch negative it doesn't work like that what works is that we have our own behavior and our own behavior needs to benefit us. So, take your time when you read these studies because otherwise it will discourage scientists from sharing and fighting for their ability and their rights to share something. Um, <clears throat> The bad associations, um, you see that the Ebola case, uh, the study that I've posted before, there was no RH negatives among the patients, which is, um, it was a small study. HIV studies have shown smaller amounts, smaller than expected frequencies of RH negatives, but they were there. And chikungunya has been a big one. That was probably the one study before this one that really, really uh, hit home for me where I realized that the, uh, that the suggestion that um, viral infections we may have a protective association towards may be true. So all I can tell you guys is that um, share, share what you know, find out, find things out. You know? Don't sit in some arch negative group on Facebook and talk about nonsense because uh, reality is much more exciting than fiction once we get to it and this is absolutely not fiction so I'm scanning over this uh, blood group O of course we, we know that already uh, Yeah, the, our results add further evidence to the previously discovered COVID-19 protective association for O blood type. And we show evidence for additional associations between B and RHD blood group. Now the B thing I have to look into a little bit more. But blood group... See, this is the first time I see a, uh, a study that actually really, really focuses on this. They, you know, they, they did the lab, lab work. They looked at the Chinese study and everybody said, well, it's not been peer reviewed, there's nothing to it. And these guys actually did it. This manuscript was written openly on GitHub using Manubat. Let me see. Interesting. So there's more. Well, 
guys thank you for watching i will post more on that later i will look it up right now and i appreciate a share in the comment section whatever you can offer in addition to what i've just done